Hi everyone, my name is Jared. Welcome back to the Onwards Project and welcome to a brand new video. So ChatGPT, it's been out there, we've spoken about it, but it's time to move on and check out some other tools. A lot of the ChatGPT premium and really cool functions are hidden behind a paywall. However, there are a bunch of other tools very similar to ChatGPT that can do many of those premium features for absolute free. We're gonna dive into that today. First one up is Claude or Claude 2. This is a free access sort of ChatGPT similar S tool. You can do text prompts to write stuff, whether it's content, blogs, articles, they can analyze different things as well, create budgeting sheets, all that kind of different stuff. It's familiar to all the other AI tools out there. The thing that really stands out with Claude though is that you can actually upload files. So you can upload PDFs, CSV, which is like Excel files. You can upload text documents, Word docs, all these kind of things. You can ask it to analyze for complete free so you can use it to analyze and you can also use it as part of the prompt as well this is a currently pay only feature on chat gpt it's completely free when it comes to claude the next one up is google bard google bard started a little bit behind the pack but now it's really caught up it's a very simplistic tool to use text prompts are all there you can create tables it can analyze different texts it can write content for you blogs all this kind of thing but the really cool feature that google just released with it is the image image prompt feature where you can upload an image just to analyze something or you could use that image as part of your prompt as well. In a lot of the responses now on Google, it will start to also show different images or different things that you're asking for. And the best part is, is that the integration of Google Bard is direct into the Google workspace. You can copy across anything that you've done on Google Bard into things like Google Docs, but even Google Sheets. So it's an incredibly useful tool and it's just gonna keep getting better. One of the direct competitors to Bard is Bing. It's like the center of Microsoft's entire AI rollout. If you use Microsoft Edge as a browser, I mean, Bing AI chat is literally everywhere. Bing AI chat gives you a lot of flexibility. So it is connected to the web, similar to Google Bard and also Claude. And you can actually do all sorts of different things on there from creating tables to analyzing content, writing blogs. The cool feature that really stands out is that it has a direct link with DALI, which is an AI image creator tool. And just through Bing chat, you can actually create images for you to use, download and so forth. So this is a really standout feature. Microsoft Bing is just gonna keep getting better and better. And it's one of my favorite tools out there at the moment. The next tool we've covered on the channel already and it's called Perplexity. Great thing about Perplexity is that there is an extension that you can add directly to your browser, whether you're on Edge or Chrome or anything that uses the Chromium system. Perplexity stands out because of the speed. It's like ChatGPT, but so much faster. What I love about it is that you can directly search through specific sources such as YouTube and Reddit, and it just saves a lot of time. I wouldn't say Perplexity is incredibly useful for creativity, but I use it more as like a search engine. With its connection to the internet, it gives me really up-to-date information super quickly, and it's a fantastic option away from ChatGPT. Just a quick reminder again, like everything I'm saying, these are all these are all free tools. Like you could check the description and they're all there for you to use right now. Half of them, you don't even need to sign up. You can just go and use them. So give them a go. The last one I want to give you is like right out of the box. I mean, literally, this is Meta's idea of the latest large language model or LLM. It's called Llama. And you can currently access Llama through Perplexity as well, through the AI Labs. I'll leave a link in the description and you can test out this tool. There's not that many features in it at the moment. It's quite usual text to prompt, but I wanted to include it in this video because for sure it's gonna lead to some more awesome things in the future, including potentially text to image as well. So there you have it. Those are five free alternatives to ChatGPT. Many of them that will give you free access to many known premium features of ChatGPT. I'm really curious what you're using at the moment though. Are these tools useful for you? Are you using any other ones? Comment down below. And if not, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for the support.